Hey there, Salt Shaker friends! Casey here. Welcome to Next Gen Live! Today, we're going to have an exciting Bible story. But before that, I want you guys to leave your suggestions, comments, and use hashtag Next Gen Live, hashtag Next Gen Salt Shakers. Now, who's ready to listen to the Bible story? Are your eyes, ears, and hearts ready? Are you ready? Count down with me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hi kids, parents, and other adults. Welcome to Kids Church. Now, I'm always excited to spend Sundays with you. Now, how was your week? Did you have a good week? Well, I hope you did. Now, before I forget, my name is Teacher Camille. And let's also not forget to say a big hello to Mr. S. Me to me to me to. I'm always excited to attend church on Sundays. Well, hello, Teacher Camille. Hello, children. And hello to all the adults with us today. Wonderful! How was your week, Mr. S? I had a fantastic week, Teacher Camille. How about you? I had a great week, Mr. S. I did lots of fun things. I even made a new friend. A new friend? Oh yes, a new friend. Who is it? Who is it, Teacher Camille? Is it a boy or is it a girl? What's his name? Oh, what's her name? Boo! Oh, who are you? You frightened me! Oh, I see you've met my new friend Martha. Hello, hello there, everybody! Oh, so your teacher come in as your friend? Yes, nice to meet you! Very nice to meet you, too! Okay, teacher come in. I'm ready for a Bible story. I'm excited to find out what it's about. That's great, Mr. S. Before that, I have a question for you. Have you ever been afraid or nervous before? Oh, yes, Teacher Camille. I have been afraid and nervous before. Me too. Many, many times. That's great, because our Bible story today talks about a man named Joshua. But before we start our Bible story, we need to do something before we start. Do you remember what we're supposed to do before we start anything? Oh, I know, I know! Go for it, Mr. S. What should we do before we start anything else? We need to pray before we begin. Exactly! Now, let's get ready to pray, so we need to close our eyes, bow our heads, and let's pray. Dear Lord, we praise and thank you for today. We praise and thank you because you are good and we can trust you. We pray that you would help us focus today and listen to your word. Dear Lord, we also pray that you would protect us and our families. We lift up today and we thank you for all of the blessings you have been giving us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Teacher Camille! Let's begin our story now! Oh, not yet. Do we have a new memory verse for this month, Teacher Camille? You are right, Mr. S. Today is actually the very first Sunday of this month. It's the first Sunday of July. And that means we've got a new memory verse to recite. So, together with me, let's recite Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. Not one of the good promises which the Lord had made to the house of Israel failed. All came to pass. Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. Now, let's try it with some actions. Kids, don't forget that it is important to do it with the actions because this will help us remember our verse. Okay, let's begin. Joshua chapter 21 verse 45. Not one, not one of the good promises of the good promises 
which the Lord, which the Lord had made, had made to the house of Israel failed, failed. All came to pass. All came to pass. Joshua chapter 21 verse 45. Now let's try it one more time. Joshua chapter 21 verse 45. Not one of the good promises which the Lord had made to the house of Israel failed. All came to pass. Joshua chapter 21 verse 45. That's our verse for today and I hope that you have memorized it with me. Oh wow! I'm sure I'm getting excited for a Bible story! Great! Now it's time to prepare for our Bible story. Before that, let's make sure that we prepare our hearts, our minds, and our ears to listen to God's Word. So let's remember, we must wiggle our ears, wiggle, wiggle. Shake your hands, shake, shake, shake. And put them on your lap, ready to listen to God's Word. Now, if you have your Bibles today, turn to Joshua chapter 1. In Joshua chapter 1, it says, The Lord spoke to Joshua and appointed him to take care of some land. It was a big, big piece of land. Now, can you imagine taking care of a big piece of land? Joshua, my servant Moses is now dead, and it is time for you to lead the Israelites across the Jordan River into the land I am giving them. Kids, how do you think Joshua felt? How about you, Mr. S. and Martha? How do you think did he feel? Oh, I think he was very nervous and scared. Yes, I think so too. Maybe he was asking himself if he could actually do it. You are certainly right, Mr. S. and Martha. It was a big responsibility. Now, let's find out what happens next. Me, Lord? You would like me to lead your people? Yes, I would like you to lead the Israelites, Joshua, but do not worry. Wherever you go, you will be on the land I have given you. No one will be able to stand up against you as long as you live, for I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land. Okay, Lord. I will obey you. Joshua obeyed the Lord. He quickly gave orders to his men about what God had wanted. All right, men. Go to the camp and tell everybody to get everything ready. In three days, we will cross the Jordan River and take possession of the land that the Lord has given you. After that, Joshua gathered all the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh to speak to them. These tribes would get the land on the east side of the Jordan, the land before they crossed the river. Now, do you know what a tribe is? Well, a tribe is a group of people, including many families from different generations. Remember what you promised Moses. You would help the other tribes get the land you promised them across the Jordan River. We'll do what you command us to do. We'll go anywhere. We will obey you like how we obeyed Moses. We only ask that the Lord God be with you, just as he was with Moses. Now, the time had finally come for the Israelites to get the land that God had promised them. The wait was finally over. Forty years was such a long period of time for waiting. It can be scary. It must have been scary since there were other people living there. These people were scary and bad. 
But God encouraged Joshua by saying, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now, isn't that an encouraging promise from God? Is God with us even when we are alone, Teacher Camille? Yes, He is definitely with us, even if we don't see Him. Even when we have to do hard things, is God still with us? Yes, He is still with us, even when we have to do hard things. Remember in our story, God kept on saying, to Joshua that he had to be strong and courageous? It's because the task that Joshua had to do was so big. It was so big that it made Joshua nervous. But since God assured him that he would be with him, Joshua did not get nervous anymore. It, God promised that he would be with him even if it was difficult. And Joshua was able to do it. If God wasn't with them, would they still be able to get the land? No, Mr. Ras, they wouldn't have been able to get the land because it was really a difficult and scary task to, to face the people of Canaan. They were only able to do the difficult task because God was with them. He also continued to assure Joshua of his promise that he would be with them every step of the way. Hand in hand with his promise, Joshua had to obey and follow the law of Moses. He had to read and do God's will, for this was his guide. But Teacher Camille, what if my mommy and daddy ask me to do something very, very hard? Something I cannot do, like take care of my baby sister. Yes, Teacher Camille, what if I have a school project that is so hard I cannot do it? Those are great opportunities to remember that just like Joshua, we need to trust God that he will always be with us. Joshua was only strong and courageous because God was with him, even if Joshua was had to do a difficult task. Now, have you ever experienced doing a difficult task? I have experienced a difficult task, Teacher Camille. I had to take care of my baby sister, but I was so scared because I was all alone. But now I know that God commands us to be strong because He also promises us that He will never leave us. Exactly, Mr. S. Our God is not just a promise maker, but He's also a promise keeper. Unlike the promises we make sometimes, sometimes we aren't able to fulfill them or keep them. But God fulfills every promise that He gives us. He keeps them. Every promise that God makes, He fulfills. But we must also remember that sometimes He fulfills His promises in different ways. Sometimes it may not be in the way that we want, but we must trust His ways always. What's your favorite part of the Bible story, guys? I really like that throughout the Bible, God makes many promises to His people, but He fulfills each and every one of them. He promised Joshua that He would lead them. He promised Abraham numerous descendants and a land for them. He even promised that He would send Adam and Eve a savior. And God has completed all of that. That's why we must remember that God keeps His promises always. What a great insight. Wow. So, so kids, we must remember that God is not only a promise maker, but also a promise keeper. He is always with us. 
I'm so excited to learn more about God's promises this month. Me too. I wish I could still join you in the coming weeks. Of course you can. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's Bible story, boys and girls. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Oh, oh, oh! Teacher, come here. Please pray for us. Sure, Mr. Ras, let's all pray together. So everybody, please join me as we close in prayer. Close your eyes, bow your heads, and let's pray. Dear Lord, we praise and thank you because you are good. We praise you because you are loving. We pray, O oh God, that you would help us always trust in you. Thank you for always being with us and for being our promise maker and promise keeper. Thank you for all of the promises that you give us and for fulfilling them. We know that you always have the best plan for us. We also pray that you would protect us from the virus and that you would always keep us healthy. Please protect our families, our mommies and daddies, our brothers and sisters. Please always protect us and guide us throughout the week. We, this we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So kids, I hope to see you again next week. And I hope you have a lovely week ahead of you. I'll see you. Bye.